All right, so this is the lateral band box. I think most people perform this incorrectly. I'm going to go over why first. So when you see people performing these side steps, they keep the heel fixated to the ground. And what that leads to is a collapse or a flattening of your foot. This leads to over pronation of the foot or an over flattening of the foot. This leads to the knee cap being relatively inside the foot with the heel fixated on the ground which is the mechanism of an ACL tear, as well as the position of hip internal rotation with the heel fixated to the ground, which is the position of a hip impingement test. So for all those reasons, even though you're still feeling your glutes likely, likely with the exercise, it builds a very poor habit, as well as even groin strains. A lot of people will get groin strains because they're always pushing through their heel to move side to side. Now I'm gonna show you the difference of pushing through the ball of the foot and keeping the heels hovering off the ground. So when my heels are up off the ground and I push to the side, notice how my heel moves away relative to this foot. So essentially what's happening is I'm getting this pivot action going on, which is a much safer place to be for your knee. For your foot, you can see the integrity of the foot and it's not creating that hip impingement type sensation because now I'm just pivoting and rotating through very similar to someone throwing a football or baseball pass. So for all those reasons, what we need to do is perform this exercise on the ball of the foot and it's okay for the knees to be right over top of the foot. It's okay for the knees to be midline relative to the foot. That heel is up off the ground. Now I'm in a safe place to push off of that foot heel moves away and I'm thinking about moving the heels further and further away from each other as I step and move side to side. And you can see the difference of ball of foot leading with the heels as opposed to flat footed leading with the heels. Gotta feel both in the glutes, but one builds a better habit than the other. Now from a side view, butt should be back behind the heels and my chest is over top of the feet. Now again, if I was to push through my heel and move, you can see how the ankle rolls and inverts and that flattens the foot. That's not what we want. As opposed to if I have my heels lifted up off the ground, you can see how the heel moves away as I push back forward to the side, keeps the foot in a lot better position of integrity, which will make your knee, foot, and hip a lot happier. The whole entire time my butt stays back, I'm not thrusting and lifting up higher and pushing my hips forward, keeping the butt behind the chest, chest over top of the feet, heels up off the ground in an athletic position, moving back and forth. 